Tuesday, May 24th, Mirgard. What I record next is hearsay. Though the dwarves who remained with us after Forest Heart swear by its truth. It seems impossible that they could have any knowledge of events occurring hundreds of miles away, deep in territory long held by the gold. Yet their conviction does not yield. I repeat here their story and allow the reader to come to his own decision. Led by their pathfinder, Balin, the dwarves landed in the midst of a sea of goals and laid waste to them with grenades and satchel charges. But the enemy boiled like ants from their burrows in the mountain, and each one that was killed seemed to be replaced by two others. Yet at last the attacks ceased, and the dwarves found themselves masters of the bloody patch of ground where they had taken their stand. Bodies and pieces of bodies lay everywhere. A swift council followed their unexpected victory, and the survivors resolved to locate the Gold's ancestral stone godhead and blast it to fragments. The Gold's have worshipped this enormous piece of unworked stone since the birth of their race, rolling its hundred tons wherever their migrations have taken them. The continued presence of the Gold's idol at Mirgard is a blasphemy, and to destroy it would be to spit in the face of their entire race. Now more than ever, the dwarves expected to die. Holy shit! How's that for an entrance? My god! It's like watching Ric Flair coming down the aisle. It's the same level of grandeur, except with much more blood and many more body parts. Um, boy, oh boy. Well, my name is Effing Controller, and we're playing more Myth the Fallen Lords. We're playing the, uh, secret level here in Myth. I wouldn't necessarily call it a bonus level, because it doesn't really, uh, give you anything for completing it. You just have the satisfaction of knowing that you've played through every single level of the game if you've beaten this. Uh, and our mission, which we have chosen to accept, is to go and destroy the Goldish Godhead. Here in Mirgard, so let's do exactly that. Now I have to admit, I have played through uh, just the very beginning of this level, just kind of dip my toes in the bloody water of uh, Mirgard here. Oh boy! And I've already discovered something very important, which is that uh, really the only formation that is of any use here is uh, the shallow encirclement. Because otherwise, you pretty much are guaranteed. What are you doing? Uh, you're pretty much guaranteed to well. Great. <laughs> Watch as the shallow encirclement works its magic. Casualty. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> That's incredible. All right. Well, we're gonna give this another try here, because that obviously didn't go quite as planned. And um, yeah, I assure you, though, shallow encirclement. It is pretty great. But now we get the opportunity to see the death screen here, hopefully. Yep. Alright, let's give that another whirl. Well, that was fun. We all learned something there, didn't we? I don't know what. I mean, I kind of learned something. Maybe you guys learned something, too. Maybe you learned that I'm not very good at this game. That's already been established, though. We're just doing a review lesson, I guess. So let's see. Um, what I've kind of decided now is that I'm going to use blood farts to kind of harass the goals, kind of like, uh, you know, like a somebody at a holiday party, I guess. You walk up and lay awkward uh, one-liners on them. It's kind of my area of expertise. Hey, all right. That's pretty good. That's also quite good. Oh, no, that's not good, though. That's hilarious, actually, that that happened that way. What the fuck? Um, how did that work? Well, Count Von Faust kind of took a blast to the booty. Not a comment on his personal life, but just I'm stating the facts. Um, and we're going to go over here now, now that we've navigated that successfully, although now we have more goals. It's important to have goals, as we've talked about before. All right. Um, oh, yeah, you need to run. Your ass needs to run. Count Von Faust is laying down the smack. Oh, my goodness. 
Beautifully done. Okay. What now? All right, let's get that main group up and put blood yeah. farts in the lead. I would really hate to lose anybody on this level, but uh, Count Von Faust is not looking so sharp. And just trot along here, and I have a very funny feeling about that tunnel. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Splork. Ooh, I did not kill him, though. Oh my, yes, as I was expecting. I really, I mean, I hate having to just use blood farts to do most of the legwork here, but he really is just so dominant. He's uh, got excellent aim and everything. There's just no reason not to, other than, you know, your guys' egos, and frankly, I just don't care about that. I know you guys all want to be helpers and, you know, do a good job, whatever, but he's just so much better than you, and it's it sucks, but that's, you know... Kind of how it is, you guys. You guys stink. And, okay, I was just making sure that we were all moving together as a family. Good. All right, what's going on up here? And that's a tunnel. That does not bode well. And this is an interesting little formation of rock. I'll see if there's anything interesting there, although I kind of doubt it. Um, hold on. Everybody just relax. See, there's that tunnel there. What? Mmm. Mmm. That's not a formation that I approve of. Well done. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Let's uh send blood farts in. Flat and wait for it. Nothing, right? Nothing's coming out of the hole. Hmm. Well, it's our lucky day. All right. So we're going to head up this way, I guess. There's nothing really over here as far as I was able to see on the map, correct? It's just a interesting trio of mounds. Mmm, mounds. Yeah. I like mounds over Almond Joys because I don't like almonds. And yeah. Almond Joys got nuts. Mounds don't. Okay. Awkward product placement. I'm not receiving any compensation for that, incidentally. Why should I? But also, um, if I were whoever makes mounds and Almond Joy, I probably would not compensate somebody like that for saying something so stupid yeah. about their product. And if I did compensate them, it would be entirely in the candy that they don't like. I would have a surfeit of almond joys. And why am I talking about this right now? There is some badness over here. Um, I'm going to be a cheeky little bugger. Party pus. <laughs> Fun for the whole family! Just a big old tube of party pus, ready for, you know, birthday parties, holiday parties, like we were talking about. Um, yes, sir. New Year's parties. Goes great on crackers. Okay. You guys suck. Now, see, I wanted to try to get that to explode first. That guy just stunned his own goal. Um, and this is not going to work out here, I can already tell you. Uh, I'm going to redo this because I can't really beat this level without blood farts and he is going to die. Okay, we're going to give this another whirl here, but I'm just kind of looking at the layout of these pus packets. And uh, I think that I might have been going about this a little bit the wrong way. Because... I think I was going for the one off to the right, but that's not going to chain react with anything. So I'm going to try to hit here and see if that sets off those. And if it doesn't, I better run like hell. And you guys can probably... Can you form up? No. No, 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 no. No. Shit. Yes. I think I balls this all up. Again. And go there. Yeah. 
Not as ballsed up as I thought, but still probably pretty ballsy. And yeah, this is not going to work. Well, this is probably about the 20th time I've tried this. Um, it hasn't gone very well for me. Um, because here's what happens, basically, is I get... I have this basic setup here. I have my line of dwarves and then my Pathfinder blood farts. And I send them all up, the dwarves roughly to here, and then blood farts well ahead. Just to try to kind of hit these pus packets if I can. Because that seems to me to be the key to this. Um, but what happens is... Blood farts usually will get overwhelmed, and then my backup dwarves won't... <laughs> backup dwarves are like backup singers. Um, they don't really um, do anything. They don't really back me up, if you will. So, um, I'm going to move up just a smidge, and I'm going to have blood farts come okay. up a little bit more. And I really think that possibly the key to this is this packet here. Um, oh boy, but it's not going to matter because we're not going to be able to hit any of them. And this is also what happens here, is the... Oh god. They also just start showering us with bits of white, and it... Oh no. Did we survive that? <laughs> That's retarded. That was the sloppiest... Oh, man, if we had a journeyman, I would take this result, but uh, I think I'm going to have to give this another try, but that's progress, because like I've said, it, um, I've been doing this several times now, and I haven't made any kind of progress where uh, the end result isn't uh, everybody exploding in a demonstrative fireball. So this is good. This is learning. We learned something there. I don't know what. This is, again, this is edutainment for you, um, but I think I'm going to have to do this again just because... Um, Blood Farts is going to collapse like a little paper bag, a tiny explosive paper bag, and we don't want that because if he dies, he drops his charges, his uh, signal charges, and that would be a nightmare. So I'm going to try this again. Okay, time for take 179, and action. Good lord. I'm basically I'm going to be satisfied with any result other than, you know, everybody dying. That's an inauspicious start, though, because now we're in a position where everybody's going to die here, possibly. Yep, looking pretty bad, although we might just eke out this. I think we got it. Fantabulous. Now, okay, you, you'll notice that my dwarves are all kind of purpley and gross. Um, some of the white debris doesn't explode. So it, it just stuns you, and but still, that's enough, obviously, because it immobilized several of my dwarves during that little attack, but we survived. Everybody's alive. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game really quick. Shh, don't tell anybody. And I already I got a result that was a little bit marginal, so I decided to redo it. So that's why there's Party Pus 2, just so you... Party Pus 2, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, so we're going to press on, fortunately. After much trial and tribulation, I hope nobody's unsatisfied with me kind of save scumming. It's pretty much necessary, though, for this game, for, at least for me. Um, a lot of the playthroughs of Myth that are on YouTube and elsewhere um, involve people playing through the levels and not taking any damage on legendary difficulty and things like that. And while that's awesome, um, I the only way to really accomplish that, at least for me me, meh, little old me, is to um, uh, basically pause the game and move my troops. And it's also kind of a little bit cheesy in my opinion because they're also doing the um, Myth 2 version of Myth 1. There's a total conversion for uh, Myth 2, Myth 1. How, am I saying that at all right? You can play Myth 1 through the Myth 2 engine. Jesus. And... Um, Myth 1 doesn't allow you to slow down time. It only allows you to speed it up. You can also move your troops while paused, but um, Myth 2 allows you to slow down time. So that's an advantage, too. But again, I mean, I'm kind of knocking people for playing the game that they want to play it, and that's kind of snotty. It's a video game. Get over it. But um, just so that people know where I'm coming from, who I am, or something. Anyways... <laughs> was unnecessary. What an unnecessary little spiel, but whatever. 
let's uh, let's just press on. Forget that whole sorry episode happened. Yes, All right, so ooh, that's gross. Oh, that's the that's the godhead actually right there. You can see that it vaguely resembles a goal or a puffin. Take your pick. Alrighty. I guess my comments were based on people thinking that I'm doing something cheesy. And I I don't know, I guess I was kind of excusing myself by saying, well, look at what they do. And that's not really fair, obviously. <laughs> it's kind of a dick thing to do. Uh, especially because I'm sure that those guys are far more skilled than I am anyways. The people that um, play the game uh, and get no damage on Legendary, even through the use of uh, timing cheats, I guess we'll call them. I don't really know what else to say about them. It's not really a cheat, though. It's a part of the game, so... I'm rambling. I'm filling in time. Make up your mind. Filling in idle time spent on this level as we don't run into anything on this ridge here. I'm gonna get everybody formed up, because these structures look somewhat ominous. I thought I heard a splat. I could have just farted, I don't know. Five of them, six of them, I don't know how to count. And I believe Blood Farts is the man for the job. He should be able to handle this pretty easily. There's some, oh, there's Solus there, okay. Move here, move there. All right, run. Holy balls. Well, this isn't going well. Uh, son of a bitch. Blood farts is going to die, and mass hysteria is going to occur here. Although, let's actually <laughs> see if any of those... No, they're not going to get him. Damn. Ah, well. Okay, well, we're going to have to try that again. All right. Let's try this again. Let's do this. So let's see, these guys are going to crawl up, try to throw some shit at me. Let's try to hit him first. Wait, no, him. Do it! Do it, do it! Oh no! Well, that actually kind of worked out. Let's see. Oh, hit him, hit him. Lovely. Okay, there's three more, though, that we need to deal with. Oh, boy. What? Nicely done. All right. Although there's the Solus, so we're going to back these guys off. Wait, no, we're not. No, we're not. You guys are cannon fodder, or javelin fodder, I guess. Hit him, please. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I think we are going to be able to do this a little yeah. bit better this time. Hit him. Oh my gosh, this is like poetry. Just beautiful. Okay. Sweet. And since I'm a cheating whore, I'm going to save my game again because that was difficult to get to. Okay. No, actually it wasn't as bad as the previous little area, though. In fact, they are nothing alike. This was much easier. <laughs> I'm just being paranoid now. All right, now, so we've got a big pile of satchel charges here. We're not going to do anything with them, though, so... Because we need them for yeah, later. Yeah. But let's keep pressing on. Okay. Oh, there's friends! Hello, friends! There's Lord Matt Carl and Lethal and the Man for Reels. Well, we're so happy to have you, and that kind of frustrates me, because Count Von Faust was far more expendable than I thought. <laughs> he very easily could have died. That would not have been a problem for anybody. Oh! Well, I guess for Count Von Faust, that would have been a big problem, but there's a lot of Solus right there. How to deal with that little issue? Um, well, they're going down here. You can kind of hear some chanting and grunting. Fascinating. But let's press on here. Let's keep pressing on in the hopes that 
we activate our skill button. What? What does that even mean? I was trying to make a joke about um, an on button on some non-existent skill machine. I guess. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody want to help me figure out what I was talking about there? Yes, Good sure. lord. Alright. This game is very tough on this level, at least. Move here, move Normally I don't feel like I have this much trouble, but... Just gonna keep reconnoitering this way because I get the feeling that if we go down there, we're gonna have a whole bunch of goals to deal with. There's actually one there. Hmm. What now? We could do a satchel trap for those, but I'm kind of not too enthused about using satchel charges on those solace. So, but we do have those signal charges, so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try to do that and see if we can take out a good chunk of them. Probably won't be able to, but we'll... Oh, boy. Speaking of which... Okay, so here's the thing about the signal charge. So there's a delay on it. And I don't know exactly what that delay is, but I think that we might have done pretty well there. Yeah. Except for him in flux. Oh, yeah. He's getting his ass handed to him. You guys keep running away. Yes, sir. Blood farts. Casualty. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go again. Dwarves, their own worst enemy. Okay, we're going to have to give that another try, but I think I... Whoa. I think we've gotten that kind of squared away, though. We'll be able to deal with this next time. Okay, I've got us into something resembling a line here, if you can believe it, but I'm already <laughs> just going immediately and wrecking that. I'm going to pull them back a touch, and I'm going to put Blood Farts by this tree so that he can hide once he throws his signal grenade, which he's going to do now. And he's going to throw another one there, and I'm going to run and hide. There's no shame in this. Um, you guys pull back. Excellent. Don't do that. All that is good and holy. And hide? Oh, wait. No, you guys stop. Fuck. <laughs> you guys stay out of this. You guys are not qualified. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. This level is really taking it out of me, you guys, because just the AI in this game, the pathing and everything is wretched. And that goal is being attacked. So why don't we... There. <laughs> that worked beautifully. Okay, what's going on here. There's a Solus, and he's probably going to try to attack Blood Farts, but I'm going to try to hide behind this tree, and he's running away like the coward that he move is. There, I'm going to try to chase him. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him, though. Maybe. Maybe. That looks good. Yes. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and save again. You know me and my horrible save scumming. Party Pus 4. Citizens on patrol. Excellent. Okay. Let's come up here. There's a goal inbound. Yes, sir. Boy, wouldn't it just be the most embarrassing thing if he was killed by this goal? Oh. My God, my God. <laughs> I was expecting myself to get jinxed there, but apparently... Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, my God! <laughs> This game, it's ruining me. It's turning me into a small, shriveled up shell of a man. Okay, we're going to keep going this way. I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing here that's going to threaten us as we progress towards the godhead. Okay, there's something here. That's, yeah, definitely a goal. Okay, now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Blood farts over here. Mic up your mind. He's not going to be able to run anywhere, though, hopefully. Yeah. We'll cut him off at the pass. And kill him. Handsomely done. Okay, there's that solace there, because... Don't want him hanging around. He's a trespasser. He's 
bad for business. Alright. Might not... Oh, that was pretty close. That was great, though. Um, I don't think I really want to go much further that way. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to prepare to assault the Godhead. Now, I don't know which way we're really supposed to go here. Well, I guess we have to find out. We have to find out where the goals are. So let's go to this middle path. Okay, and then okay. come up there. Hope I don't aggravate them immediately. There's a few. Oh boy, there's a couple. <laughs> there's just a couple there. It's no big deal. Um, just trying to kind of get an idea of how the terrain looks here. Maybe we should try from this side. So we've got some hills there. I don't know. None of these are really looking that appealing, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't we just try it this way. And I'm most certainly going to rely on some satchel charges here. We have enough, I believe, to um, replenish ourselves at those different little piles that we ran into. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put us in a box formation for maximum satchel distribution. Actually, short line. Let's do short line. And I have no idea which way they're going to come at me here, so... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop some here. Are they attacking? No, good. Some here. Keep moving. Okay, who's out? You have one more. You go ahead and put yours here. I'm probably being overly surgical about this. It probably is not going to make a big difference. It's interesting that some of them don't have any charges left after that, but whatever. Okay. Are you all empty? Homer K11 has one. Let's put it over here. Get out of the way. Good lord. The pathing in this game is really, I think, what is most frustrating. Um, the difficulty that I've been running into in this level, basically, is that any time your dwarves die, they explode. Uh, it's, it's pretty likely that you'll have an explosive dwarf. So, that's obviously not fun. Because um, even if, like I say, if one of them dies, it's pretty much over. The level's done. Because you'll lose everybody else if they're at all close to them. Okay, let's try that. You guys come over here now. Okay. Why don't you go off to the side here? Who's got more? You've got two, 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 and two, and two. And you've got none. So you get the hell out of here. <laughs> Lethal, you're dead to me. <laughs> no, I kid. I kid, I kid. And how about... I don't want to get too much closer to these guys, but I think I might have to, so... Oh boy, that's scary. Is that it? That's it. Okay, run away, run away, run away. Okay. Moment of truth now. We have to figure out how to get these guys angry at us without uh, getting ourselves killed. Okay, let's get blood farts up. I might have to completely redo this because, you know, if blood farts, um, you know what, I've got an idea. 
if Blood Farts ends up dying, then we are kind of screwed here. But run, run, run. There they come. Okay. Oh, boy. I think we made them angry. Oh, God. <laughs> Blood Farts is not going to make it. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice him. It may not make any difference. That's too soon. Why did I do that? Casualty. Mother of Pearl. Okay, we're going to have to try this again. <laughs> Although my dwarves are actually not doing a bad job. Look at them go. Oh boy, that's bad though. That's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> That's super bad. Okay. Yeah, we're going to redo this. All right, gents, I think it's the moment of truth here. So I'm going to send blood farts up, and I've got... Actually, I'm going to wait a minute as I explain my cunning plan. I've got Influx here in the front. And I'm going to have him blow this thing up. I'm going to blow this mother up. And I feel like I should use Influx because he's gotten kind of short shrift throughout this Let's Play. I think I've gotten him killed, what, twice? Three times? A million times? Who cares? But that's why. It's, you know, I feel like he's kind of gotten short shrift, and I want him to have a chance at glory, so he's going to blow a big old hole in the desert. It, it's going to be his own hole of glory. If you will. And if you won't, I would understand that as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take blood farts up here. And I'm going to huck a signal grenade right there, about. And I'm going to huck another one over here. And that's a good bounce for that. That's right where I want it. And I'm going to run like the Dickens. Oh, man. Okay. That's nice. And that should help, too, there. Good. Okay. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. I'm going to have Blood Fart set up there. Influx, get ready. Go. Nice. Okay, that's good. Please don't kill blood farts. You can. We can get away without having him now, but it's just dangerous. We would really prefer to have him. So. Come on, guys. Destroy, crush, kill. Yes, go. Oh, we got blood farts killed. We got one more. Oh, no. This is terrible. It's a calamity. No. Like, no. Oh, my God. Casualty. Tengu and Moose, you're still alive. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't even know what to say right now, you guys. I'm paralyzed. We have two dwarves left. Dear me, that could have gone much better. Thanks, Influx. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, oh, no. That better be all of them. I'm going to feel really really angry <laughs> if there's anything left. Okay. Please be done. Now, this is going to be really tough because yes. here's the godhead. Yep. We're, we're clear. Okay. But in order to destroy this thing, we have to use an insane number of satchel charges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them and uh, I'll get back to you guys once I do that, because it's going to take a while. With only two dwarves left. Good god. Okay, you guys, we've got this pretty much in the bag, I think. Um, one thing about this level is that you have to very precisely position these satchel charges. If you kind of put them all around, for instance, it won't work. You have to do them pretty much exactly in these spots here. Just towards the front is fine. All right, Tengu and Moose are going to finish this. As a team, as a family. Oh my god, you guys. You guys, what are you doing to me? Yes. 
Stop this. Stop the madness. Madness? This Mulder, is Mulder. myth. Oh, God. All right. One more time. You, f you fucking guys, you're killing me. You're killing me literally. I'm going to die playing this game personally. I'm never going to be able to play another game again. Okay, we're going to blow it up. And it's going to be done. And life can go on. Are you Yay! fucking kidding me? All of that for that. <laughs> just a single frame cracking of the godhead. It just thunk and that's it. That's all. That's all we get. That's great. That's, that's great. I'm so happy right now. I'm just so happy I can't even move. <laughs> uh. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? We all had a good time. We all learned something. We all, uh, you know, went through that together, and there's something to be said for that, isn't there? I, I, I'm i going to have to take a long break after that. Might end up uh, going out to a cabin in the woods for two years. Maybe write a great American novel in the process after that harrowing experience. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I don't know what reality is. I don't know what colors are. I don't know what... I don't know the taste of strawberries and cream. <laughs> God damn it, man. That was bad. Well, I'm glad that you all could ride along with me for that. I'm sure that you guys enjoyed that just as much as I did. <laughs> Sweet, merciful crap. Well... This was a long-awaited party. That was the shittiest party I have ever been to, I can safely say. It's worse than those ones where there's no food and the beer's bad and there's people there who you aren't really... You don't hate them, but you're awkward with and you want to go, but you can't because you promised. Basically, it was worse than that times a million. So, wow, okay. I'm going to sign off and wish you all a much better day than I just had. I literally spent hours doing this. <laughs> and it was totally worth it, let me tell you. So I'll uh, come at you guys later with something a little bit better. Hopefully. Anything is better than this. See you guys later.